Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I have a collective Sephora haul. And this is things I bought since October, I believe. So it's including my birthday and Christmas and all the sales that Sephora had this year, which were actually quite good. And I think that's how I ended up with all of this stuff. So this is gonna be a long video. Um, I have this box that's overflowing and I have a big bag, a big Sephora bag. That's how much stuff I bought. They gave me a big bag. So yeah, but a lot of this, I mean, I don't know why I have to explain this, but I bought this stuff with gift cards. So I don't just like go to Sephora and buy two bags of makeup. You know what I mean? I don't know. I just felt like I had to say that because I'm start I'm looking at this and I feel kind of crazy. <laughs> but anyway, let's just jump into this. Oh dear. Okay. This is not going to be in order because I just had to throw things in where there was room. But I know that I bought this for as my birthday gift to myself, and this I bought during the VIB sale. It's the MAC Velvet Teddy's Party Crew Vault. Oh my god, I'm so excited about this. I was so sad because this went out of stock during the sale and I was like, ugh, I'm not paying full price for that. But then it came back, like, I think the last day of the sale, so I jumped on it. And look how cute. Oh my god, how could I not get this? This is the cutest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> So, um, this is the Velvet Teddy Party Crew Vault, so everything in here is Velvet Teddy, but I had to have it. So there's, well, let's just look at these, because I honestly don't even remember what's in here. So there's the Teddy 2.0, this is a Powder Kiss lipstick. And I haven't even swatched these or anything. So let's just have fun. Um, yeah. My hand is like an alligator skin, but anyway. So that's the Powder Kiss Teddy 2.0. I don't own any Powder Kiss lipsticks from MAC, so that's fun. Next, there's the Velveteen Teddy Retro Matte liquid lip color. I do have a retro matte liquid lip and they are very dry but they wear well and they have nice pigmentation so that's that there. So it's gonna it looks shiny now but it's gonna dry down. So even though these are all velvet teddy you can already see the shades are gonna be different. So that's exciting. Then I have another lipstick. This is just Velvet Teddy, the original matte lipstick. That's Velvet Teddy. I actually do have, I think, a mini of Velvet Teddy already, but whatever. <laughs> I do have the other, like, not the other. I have another MAC, um, like, lipstick vault it's all minis and i think there's velvet teddy in there i could be wrong but either way i'm not getting rid of either of them because then i'll have a hole in my in my vaults and i can't have that so this one is the mac velvet teddy love me lipstick i don't know what the difference is actually oh but it feels more like creamy and smooth and it's actually not the exact same shade so it's that one here this one is the teddy kiss powder kiss liquid lip color i haven't tried these ones before but i do like me a like blurred lipstick look oh that's interesting that's more like a darker pink shade and this has like the most interesting applicator ever it's like a ball like a doe foot but a ball on the end that is different and then the last product 
is a Love Me Liquid Lip Color in the shade Love Teddy. That's the packaging. I haven't tried this either. I think, is this a new... I think this might be their new release, like their new lip formula, if I remember. So it's a doe foot, but like a curved one. I like that actually. Ooh, and this is like a deep nude shade. That one there. So that is the Love Me Liquid Lip Color in Love Teddy. So, yes, I was worried like, am I really gonna buy a vault of all the same lip color? But look how different these are. The only ones that are really the same are um, the first one, which was the Teddy 2.0, and then the Velvet Teddy, like the original. I feel like those look the same. These, these two. But the formulas are different, so I don't know. I'm very excited about this. And this is just gonna look so cute on my vanity, wherever, wherever I end up putting it. <laughs> I just love how this looks, like a little vintage like purse or something. So that was the MAC Velvet Teddy thingy, Velvet Teddy Party Crew Vault, love it. They do also have a red one, I guess it's Ruby Woo, right, because that's their famous um, red, but I don't need that. But this one I could justify because it's all nudes and I will wear those. You know even like on a regular day so yeah very excited to have this okay next oh let's just get this out of the way because it's boring um but i did go back to my shiseido Sh shiseido <laughs> shiseido facial cottons because guys i tried to do the reusable things I tried for the last two years I've been using them it's just not the same I don't know I don't like the process of it and then you have to wash them and then that's just like more laundry and then the ones that you used you put them back in the little bag and then you wait till they're all dirty I don't know I'll still use them but I wanted to go back to these. Well, specifically for my toners that are not sprays. Like, how am I, I don't know. I felt like, honestly, I was wasting a lot of product with those reusable ones too, because they would just absorb everything. But with this, it's gonna be a lot easier to apply my products. So I did go back to these because I just love them. They're so soft and they don't fall apart and they don't, you know make little fuzzies on your eyelashes so i'm gonna go back to these for a bit and then see what happens but anyway but also these are 13 dollars canadian now they used to only be 11 so i'm not very impressed with that but anyway i got a pack of those and now it will just be random i guess so i picked up a this stuff has dust on it because I just put it in this box and didn't touch it for months. Um, but I got a Sephora Colorful... What are these called? Well, a blush? I don't really know. And the shade Date Night. And I got this because of Babs Beauty because she was raving about not only the shade but like these blushes in general and so was makeup by Cheryl and they're like my favorite reviewers so I had to get one of these and these are so affordable plus um, Sephora collection products were 30% off during the sales so I had to pick this up and I love this this like baby pink shade so I haven't tried it yet but I just love how it looks so I got one of those, very excited about that. I also got the Makeup by Mario. Don't even remember. I know it's an eyeshadow palette, 
but I don't remember what it's called. It looks like this. So it's different packaging than his first one. I don't have that one, but I know it's not the same because this is like a like tin metal packaging. It's probably gonna get so dirty though because it's white. Um, but these are the shades. Very neutral, rosy tones, but very nice for everyday wear. I feel like people were very excited about this, but I guess underwhelmed afterwards because I haven't heard anyone really talk about this anymore. But I'm so excited about it. I don't have any other eyeshadows from Makeup by Mario. And I actually want to do a full face of Makeup by Mario video because I, well, you'll see in a bit. I did get the new foundation, so I'm very excited to try all these things. And I do really like how this looks. I love the mattes. The mattes in this palette look very intriguing. So I picked this up. I still don't know what it's called. Oh, Ethereal Eyes Eyeshadow Palette. I got another palette, the Natasha Denona Retro Glam Palette. You guys, if you've been following me, you know that every chance I get, I complain about how the Natasha Denona Retro, the Mini Retro Palette, what am I trying to say here? So the Natasha Denona <laughs> Retro Palette, right, was like purple and the mini retro was like green and pink and like murky and fun and actually retro. So when the retro palette came out, the big one, I was like, what the heck is this? This has nothing to do with the original, but this one is the what I've been waiting for. So when this came out, I was like, I have to get it. Because this is everything I wanted the retro palette to be. I know this is a very confusing story because she called this the retro glam and she has a retro and a glam separately. Very confusing, but look at this. Oh my God, I love this. This is everything I want. Um, I guess it's more spring. It's more like a spring color story. But this is what I've been waiting for from Natasha Denona ever since she launched the mini retro. So I'll show you what I mean. So this was the mini retro. Okay, this is, okay. This was what I'm trying to say. The mini retro palette, when the retro palette came out and it wasn't this color story, I was confused. But now it makes sense. See? So this is what I wanted. So I was so happy to see that she came out with this and I loved this um, packaging too. It's beautiful. So yeah, that was all I was trying to say. But because I love this so much, this is one of my favorite like mini palettes. So now I have a big one and I'm very happy about it. Let's just keep going with eyeshadow palettes because I went crazy with them. I also got the Huda Beauty Empowered palette. This is what it looks like. I love the Huda Beauty um, palettes that she comes out with in the acrylic packaging. They're usually her best ones in this like style, this um, number of pans too. Um, and this is what that looks like. I feel like this is a very typical color story for Huda Beauty, like that, you know, those mauve purple, rosy tones, but I had to have it anyway. So I was like, let me try this one. I'm probably going to like it because I really like, I tend to really like the palette she comes out with in this format. So I had to get this one and it does have a, one of those weird shades, but <laughs> This one doesn't look as like petri dishy as the other one, um, but it does have like a a gel in the middle. I don't know. There's I feel like there's always something extra to a Huda palette. So even when she does like a basic color story, there's always something that grabs my attention and she always gets me. So 
yeah, I had to pick this one up too. I do really like how this looks. Very purpley, but like in a nice way. In like a grungy way, maybe? I don't know. I'm very excited about this. I just need to find the time to try all these palettes. But let's keep going with the palettes. So I have also the Anastasia Rose Metals palette. This is one that I was like, oh, I'm not getting that. When I first saw it, I actually hated <laughs> the picture when I first saw this palette, but in person, it's so much prettier. And I heard other people say that too. So this has like this, this kind of thing, like crushed metal kind of look. And I think what happened in the promo photos is because it has the same in the background, it made, it made the colors look weird online, I feel. But in person, these look so nice. Like, obviously it's another neutral leaning, like rosy tone palette, but I don't know, it really got me. And I love the Anastasia formula typically. Uh, there are a few shades in the palettes that I don't like, but I tend to really like the more metallic shades. And yeah, I just really wanted this and I wanted to get it while there was a sale because these palettes are not very cheap. So yeah, that's my excuse. <laughs> And I kind of feel like I have a like completionist mentality with Anastasia. Like I have to have all the palettes in this format. I don't know why I'm like that. Because I'm not really like that with other brands. I guess it's like a nostalgic thing too. Because when I first got into makeup, um, the Modern Renaissance palette was coming out. Or had just came out, I guess. I don't know. It was around that time when like... There was the Modern Renaissance and the Makeup by Mario collab. It was um, just very exciting to be getting into makeup around that time because everyone was like raving about those palettes. But anyway, moving on. I caved and got the Pat McGrath Labs Mothership Mega Celestial Nirvana Artistry Palette. <laughs> I didn't think I was gonna get this either, but then it went on sale. And then Sephora did the extra 20% off of sale items and I had a gift card and I was just like, I need it. So it looks like this, it's beautiful. I didn't get last year's um, holiday palette, but this one really intrigued me because we finally got colors from Pat McGrath. So this is it's so big and bulky, I don't know where I'm going to put it, but anyway. We finally got colorful Pat McGrath, so I had to get this one. Plus I love how it's kind of in three sections and she didn't mean to do that, like that's how it was marketed too. Um, so yeah, I don't know, I had to have this for some reason. I did see really good reviews on it also, so I'm not like, you know, just buying it for no reason. I did also buy it because I saw good reviews, so I'm very excited to have this one. And I think it's different enough from the first holiday um, eyeshadow palette she did in this format. That's the one that I have, um, the one that had like the eye on it. So I'm excited to have this. I will say this was cheaper, well, because it was on sale, but even at the regular price, this one feels a lot more luxurious and more like what we'd expect from Pat McGrath in the packaging. So I'm glad she upgraded the packaging, but didn't like make it extremely expensive, you know? So, but yeah, I got, I got a great deal on this anyway, because it was on sale plus extra 20% off. So yeah, I'm happy to have this. And I don't own any of the Pat McGrath, um, those like black, the long black palettes. I don't have any of those. So now I have 
and all these shades. <laughs> the things I tell myself to justify my makeup purchases. Oh, this is something I bought like, I think honestly in September, but it's a holiday release from Tarte. Um, it was like right when they launched this and I was like, I need to have that. So this is the Gilded Glamour Amazonian Clay Eyeshadow Wardrobe. So you get two palettes. Um, and this is on sale right now. I don't know if it's still in stock, but if you're interested, I saw it in the sales section. And it's really cute because you could give it as a gift or like split them up. Because um, you have one palette that's called Gilded and it's a warm bronze, gold, dusty rose, and merlot hues. And then you have the Glamour palette, which is cool, taupe, moss, navy, and plum. And I just thought this was such a great um, idea for Tarte. I feel like their holiday releases in the past like two years were kind of like whatever. But this one made a lot of sense to me. And another reason I picked it up is because this launched around the time they had that big man eater palette. And we can't get that palette in Canada, I think, because it's an Ulta exclusive. And everyone was like raving about it and how the formula was new for Tarte. And then I saw this and I was like, that looks like it's the same formula. Because it's the same kind of, I don't know, visual look. I could be wrong, but yeah, I had to get this one. And I, I also got it early because I thought that this would sell out, but clearly it didn't. <laughs> So this is the Gilded palette. I really like this packaging too. Oh, so this is the rosy one. It looks beautiful. I don't know. I just really like how this looks. The shimmers just look so nice and shiny. Then the Glamour palette. Honestly, I'm more excited about this one because I feel like it's more unique. So that one looks like this. Like I feel like this is a very unique color story in Tarte world. Like they haven't done this kind of, I guess, I want to say colorful, but I mean colorful in Tarte terms. But I'm very excited to try this. I love these like olive greens at the bottom. Um, but then you still have neutrals and like nice transition color mattes. So yeah, I'm very excited. I keep saying that, but I am. <laughs> I'm excited to just get to using these things and not just looking at them in the box. This last palette is a blush palette. And I think, did I not already talk about this? But I did get the Patrick Ta um, blush palette. I don't know why it's in this box because I feel like I got this a long time ago. But it's the Major Headlines Blush Palette Volume 2. This did not get good reviews. <laughs> um, because it's apparently not the same formula as his other blush palette. But I, I love that one which is why when this came out I was so excited. Plus there's a highlighter duo and it's the first time he's released a highlighter uh, duo so I was very excited but yeah I haven't seen good reviews on that but I won't let that like deter me from trying this anyway because obviously I bought it already and I'm still excited about it so we'll just have to see. I do really like the shades. I don't even know if it's a fact that this is a different formula, but that's just what I've heard. But anyway, I'm still very happy that I got this. Um, this is on sale too. I don't know if it's still in stock, but I saw it in the sale section, which is not really a good sign, but because <laughs> usually um, Patrick Ta sells out like very quickly. So I don't know if that means anything. Oh, this was my birthday gift. Um, I was very excited to see this was a birthday gift. It was a Rouge exclusive, so 
you couldn't have got this if you're just a VIB or a beauty insider, whatever they call them. But this is from Nest. And I do have another Nest candle and it's honestly one of the best smelling candles ever. So when I saw that this was the birthday gift, I jumped on it. And the candle in this is the grapefruit one. And if you guys don't know, grapefruit is like one of my favorite scents ever. Um, and this smells like you literally cut a grapefruit. That's what this smells like. So I'm very excited I have this. But then, not only do you get a little candle, which by the way, these are very expensive even on their own. There is a Nest Indigo Eau de Parfum in like a nice deluxe size. Is this a rollerball? I don't remember. Yeah, it's a rollerball and it smells beautiful. And a little mini. Um, perfume oil and Seville Orange. I think this is one of the best birthday gifts Sephora has ever done. Um, and I just love how everything smells. So, yes, great birthday gift in my opinion. This I also got during the VIB sale because I needed a new face sunscreen. I got the Super Goop Glow Screen SPF 40. But I just got the mini because I don't know if I'm going to like it. Sometimes, um, I don't know, I feel like I'm very sensitive to sunscreen, so I don't like to get the full size if I can help it. So I got this mini one, it's 20 ml, and I'm hoping um, that I like this because I plan on bringing it to when I go on vacation in March. I needed a face sunscreen, so I got this one while there was a sale going because it's always fun to save. <laughs> oh, I also got the Westman at the Westman Atelier, I guess. Squeaky and Cheeky Duo. And I bought this because it was on sale. And the lip so it's a lip and cheek duo and the lip product is um one of the the shades that I always wanted to try. It's the Squeaky Clean Liquid Lip Balm in the shade Nana. And when you feel these Westman Atelier products, you'll know why they're so expensive. Like this is like metal and it's very heavy and it's just a lip balm. <laughs> so I think a lot of their pricing goes into the packaging, but yeah, anyway. And it's just like a really nice nude shade. Um, my memory card was full, but as I was saying, it's just a really nice nude and I've always wanted to try it and I think it's because of Patty Alonso. I think this is the one she's always raving about, so that's how it looks. It has no scent as far as I can tell. And then the blush is a Baby Cheeks blush stick in the shade Bichette looks like that. I love cream blush and that's a beautiful shade. And I have tried, the only other time I tried Westman Atelier, or Atelier, I don't know how to say it, um, is in a sample pack. I had a sample of like all three of, they have like a contour stick, a blush, and a highlighter, and I loved it, and I was like, why did I try this? Because now it's like a hundred and something dollars for one product. <laughs> so when I saw this little mini duo, and it was on sale, I thought it was a good time to try. But that, that lip balm is actually a full size, I'm pretty sure. And then... Oh, I also got this very early on when Holiday launched because this is another thing I thought was going to sell out, but now it's on sale. The Fenty Double Cheeked Freestyle Cream Blush Duo. Um, I've talked about this before, but I feel like the Fenty Cream Blush is very underrated. I think because it came out before 
like right before cream blush was very popular so people kind of overlooked them but it's actually one of the few formulas that i feel really lasts on my skin so when i saw that she released the duo i thought it it was a very um i don't know it was very exciting because i really like these two colors and you get two for one kind of thing i haven't even touched this yet so let's do that now so there's one that's more of like a bright pink and then more of like a neutral so it's peony droppa and malibu's okay well my hand is kind of stained from other things but peony droppa it's very like bright and fun for summer and then this one could be more like all year round um malibu's so Yes, I am very excited to use those. And then there's just one more thing in this box. This I bought, I tried to buy this during the sale, but it was sold out. So I bought it with a gift card um, recently. It's from KVD. It's the Longwear Eyeshadow in, well, the Dazzle Stick Longwear Eyeshadow in the shade Flash Storm. And this I bought because of Lauren May Beauty. <laughs> so it's a stick. I normally don't, you know, gravitate towards eyeshadow sticks, but this looked so beautiful. And when, like I said, I tried to buy it during the sale and it was sold out. Oh my God. That feels so smooth and creamy. Look at that shade. Yeah. And even in the store, um, while I was looking at these, I asked them like, oh, do you have Flash Storm? And the girl like looked around and in the, in the bottom drawer and everything. And she was like, no. And I don't even think like, I can't even recommend anything else cause that's just so unique. And I was like, I know. So it has, I don't even know. So that's coming across very nicely on camera. But in person, it has all different colors of shimmer, and it's like a duochrome effect, but I don't know how well you can see that. But anyway, I'm very excited I finally got this, and yeah, we'll just have to see. Oh, it's already like dried down, so okay. Yes, you probably need to work quickly with these, but yes. That's fine for a stick shadow. You don't want it to be like always creamy because it's just going to crease. So I will keep you posted on this, but I did pick up one of those and that was it for this box. <laughs> but I still have this whole bag of things. Oh dear. Okay, so this I picked up recently um, during the 20% off sale. So this was actually, so I really got a good deal on this. The Too Faced Secret Santa Limited Edition Eyeshadow Palette. I didn't think I was gonna get this again, but it did catch my eye when it first launched. I think I even put it in my cart at one point, but then I was like, I don't need another, you know, mini Too Faced palette because they all look the same. I'm trying to open this. But then I watched Tara Babies haul this and the swatches looked really nice. And when I saw this in person, I was like, okay, now I'm excited about this. So the packaging is just so cute. Look at this little Santa. And I really like how this looks. Do I have this color story already? Yes, many, many times. But I already know that I like the mini Too Faced, like this tin mini from Too Faced. I really like the formula of these in the past. And actually the Shake Your Pom Poms palette in this format is one of my favorite palettes. So yeah, I had to get this one. And in person, I feel like it looks even better because it's a very like warm palette, but deep warms. Usually Too Faced, when they do warms, it's very 
basic but this has some pigment to it so I'm excited to have this and even this red looks very beautiful let me swatch it actually oh yeah I have this shade like many times over but it's beautiful actually I don't know I thought I when I first saw it, I was like, okay, it's just one of those cranberry shades, but it actually has like a red base. I don't know. I just had to have it. Oh, this product I got from my mom for Christmas. It was on my Sephora wish list. She got me the Tarte Maracuya Sea Brighter Eye Treatment. I don't think I even mentioned this on my channel, but I did finish the deluxe sample that I was using and I ended up really falling in love with this product so I put it on my loves list and when she asked me like what I wanted for Christmas I just sent her a link to my loves list like buy whatever <laughs> you want from this list and she ended up getting this which I thought was very um, serendipitous is that the word anyway so now i have the full size i'm very excited about it i don't need to open this right now because i do have other eye eye creams that are older but yes i would definitely keep this on the in the queue and i guess going along with that theme this one i bought myself um during the sale the tart Drink of H2O Hydrating Boost because this was 50% off and then another 20% off. So this was a steal. It's a full size face cream and I really like this one too. So it looks like this. It looks giant but it's actually like standard. Well it's 1.7 fluid ounces. This is like a um a face cream but it's more like a gel texture and I just think it feels really nice on the skin I would still probably need a thicker like creamier moisturizer at night but I love using this like during the day and otherwise and probably in the summer this one would be really good because it has like that nice refreshing feeling oh back to things I got for Christmas I got the Sol de Janeiro Bomb Dia Bright Clarifying AHA BHA Body Wash. I'm very excited. I've been wanting this forever. Um, I just had other like older body washes to use, but this smells amazing. It's very like fruity and sweet, but I'm that's like something I like for you know body wash and when I got this for Christmas I opened it and we all smelled it and everyone was like oh my god that smells amazing <laughs> so I'm very excited to get to this I still have um, an old lush shower gel to use first but then I will definitely pull this one out oh here is um, I guess my most recent purchase is it Yes, because I bought this in store, the Makeup by Mario, um, what is this called? Surreal Skin Foundation. So I do want to do a video on this because you guys seem to really like um, dedicated foundation review videos. They always do really well on my channel and I like filming them. Um, and I think it's very useful information because there's so many foundations on the market and it's hard to know which one to get and for which skin type. So anyway, this is the Makeup by Mario foundation just released. Now that I'm looking at this, there looks like there's like shimmer in the bottle. <laughs> I didn't notice that before, but that's fine. I love a glowy foundation. And I got the shade 5N because it said that this was the light neutral shade. So I that's why I got this one. And I did buy this in store. So um, the salesperson, she put some on my face to make sure it was the right shade. And it looked exactly like my skin tone. So I have very high hopes for this. 
Um, the last foundation I reviewed was the uh, House Labs one, and I really like that one too. So we'll see. Let's compare the let's compare them, I guess, because they're both supposed to be like hydrating, right? Hydrating foundations. <laughs> I don't know. I'm expecting a lot from this. I haven't watched any other videos on it yet because I, when I intend to review something, I don't like to watch other reviews first because I'm worried like I'll just repeat what they say. So yeah, I don't know, but it, I just loved how like this was described. So stay on the lookout for a video on that. I also had these um, Peace Out acne treatment dots with salicylic acid um, because I had, uh, I think you can still see the remnants, but I had like a major breakout like on this whole part of my face basically throughout the holidays, probably stress related and like just being busy and not taking care of my skin and eating a lot of junk food. So I got this, but I don't know, now I don't have like an active breakout to try them on but anyway, whenever I need it I'll have these and this, I always like was intrigued by these because they're basically, it's like a spot treatment but in a dot like a sticker that you put on your face and I just thought that sounded good <laughs> I don't know, I haven't really heard anyone talk much about these so I don't know if they actually work but I decided to try them for myself and okay there's more in here where do I okay I have more palettes well this is a blush palette this I got because it was on sale and it's been on my love list ever since it launched basically the melt cosmetics Monarca blush palette so excited to have this finally Look at this box, there's velvet inside. And this is the packaging, it's beautiful. And this looks even prettier in person. It's a bit um, dusty from shipping, but I love these shades. So, cause you basically have everything. You have your bright pink, but you also have like your neutrals, you have your burnt, um, I don't know, what's that word? Um, terracotta shade that I love. So I'm very excited to have this in my collection. I don't think, yeah, the only other blush I have from Melt is the cream, the blush light, but I really like that. So we'll just have to see how I feel about this. Yeah, did I need a blush palette? No, but it was on sale. <laughs> And I always wanted it, so I got it. Oh, let's get this out of the way. This um, Fab Skin at the Disco. So this was a great deal because I think, is everything in here full size except like one thing? So, this is a, from the brand First Aid Beauty, if you didn't know, and you guys know I've raved about these before if you watch my channel. The facial radiance pads I've loved for years, and like every year they go up in price. I don't know what's going on, but I think they're up to $48 for um, 60 pads, which like... I would, I would pay $48 for a face cream, and I have already, but for face pads that you use once and throw away, I just feel like that is so pricey. But this whole set was um, $75, but then it was on sale for, I think, $64, and then it was 20% off. So... I had to get it and it went out of stock online but I was in store it was actually the day I bought the Makeup by Mario foundation I saw they had this in store so I picked it up because I will use all of these things so it has an ultra repair cream which I love I, you can put that everywhere on your face your body 
for your hands, for your elbows, everywhere. The facial radiance pads, like I said, and it's the full size 60 pads. The Pure Skin Face Cleanser. I think I've tried that before, but I don't remember exactly. It's a five ounce. The KP Bump Eraser, which is another product I've been meaning to try. It's been on my loves list forever. Um, I would like to use that like on my arms. I don't have KP, but I just kind of like <laughs> the sound of a bump eraser. Um, yeah, I don't know. It's with 10% AHA. I mean, I guess even if you don't have KP, I don't remember um, the full word of that. But if you have it, you would know what I'm talking about. But even if you didn't have it, I'm assuming this would like act like a exfoliant and like smooth your skin, right? So that's fun. Um, the Ultra Repair Firming Collagen Cream. I don't think I've tried that. I've tried the serum, but I don't think I've tried the cream. And yeah, so you get five, yeah, five products. I just thought this was a great deal and I couldn't pass it up. So I have this too. <laughs> and we're almost done. Oh, this was another product on my wish list, the Tartlet Tubing Mascara, the mini size, because I still have old mascaras to go through, although I have, I only have like, right. there's only four mascaras in my mascara cup now. Okay, no, there's five, <laughs> but one's a mini. But if you guys saw my inventory video, from last year, you know I had like 15 mascaras, so that is great news. But I wanted to try this one because it's a tubing mascara, and I think I've liked every Tarte mascara I've tried, so I put this was on my list also. So I'm excited to try that. Also, my favorite kind of brush, you can see here, the one that's tapered on the end. So I have high hopes for that. Oh, this was on my wish list too that I got for Christmas and I was so excited because I got the Positive Light Silky Touch Highlighter from Rare Beauty. This was, this launched and then was out of stock like the next day so I for sure thought I wasn't going to get it but somehow my mom managed to find this and it's in the shade Mesmerize which is the shade that I wanted. I also have the liquid highlighter in the same shade but it just is the shade I like best from her range so I got it in the powder too look at this this is another thing I didn't watch reviews on because I thought maybe I'd do a video like a new makeup video but I don't know if you guys care I could still do that um, but yeah I also got this And, oh, and the last palette I got, I didn't think I was going to get. The Naked, um, the Urban Decay and Robin Eisenberg collab. I was eyeing this, but I couldn't justify the price. But then it went on sale. <laughs> and then I could justify it. Because it's beautiful. I love this artwork. And the color story, I just feel like it's so fun. Especially for an, a naked palette, I feel like it's not just warm browns as they often do. There's some fun colors in it, but there's still a neutral side. So, I don't know. I think I could get good use out of this. So, that's my last palette and I think I should be on a palette no buy going forward <laughs> but I think I'll do a video um, like my plans for the new year with my makeup spending and whatever um, this little guy was at the bottom I got this in my was it in my stocking I don't remember um, this little Sephora lip gloss ornament so cute 
that's the shade it looks really pretty and sephora lip glosses are usually great so i don't know if it's the same formula in this little ball but it's the shade pearly pink and i'm excited about this too and then these are just samples sample um, perfumes juliet has a gun pear ink i'm pretty sure i have this already so i think i'll give that to my mom uh, daisy love by mark jacobs the oh so sweet i don't think i have this one i do love mark jacobs daisy eau de toilette so i'll probably like this too and then i got a Coralie Vinyl Perfect Essence. Um, this little deluxe size, I guess, sample. It's a toner, I'm assuming. So that will go with my skincare. But that's it, I hope. I think that's it for my Sephora haul. <laughs> it's a lot of things. My tables are full of products, so now I get to clean and organize and hopefully find a place for all of these things so probably I will be doing some kind of declutter uh, or some kind of organization video next um, yeah I have to do my inventory for 2023 I already know every probably every category went up but I don't care <laughs> You guys know if you've seen my other videos as long as i have a place for everything and it's not a mess i don't mind having a lot of things because i like to try new things i like to do my rotational shot my stash videos which i need to do next so yeah i hope you like this video um if you saw anything here that you want me to try in a video or do a dedicated review on just let me know below and if you like this video give it a like subscribe if you haven't already and i'll see you in my next video bye